today it's day seven i want to start getting leads so i'm going to show you guys what i'm doing so i was talking to chat gpt and how it's going to come up with a strategy for me but first things first i want to scrape some emails to contact so i went to a directory website and i found some google that has a lot of lawyers that are in toronto and then i right clicked inspected and then got the card information if you guys want to troll on how to do this there's a link in the description i'll put the card here you can watch that video I made yesterday on how to scrape with ChatGPT, and you just copy the element that has all the data so this, each card is the same and you just have to prompt it effectively and i'll show you how to prompt it in the other video that i just told you guys about that i did yesterday and then it made me a script torontolayers.ca has the headers and all that and all the data I was even making a Google search to search every single client and then find a summary so we can tailor the script to them. Um, but here are the script results. I'll show you. I didn't get that far to automate the summarization. We could do that in another video, but I was having trouble and I'd rather just do it manually. Okay, so we have all this information here. This is the name and the law firm, phone number and their email. Their profile, so you can email a lawyer by pressing this button. And the emailing is done through them okay so next thing we want to do is contact them all so i want to back to arc let's go to google sheets let's import upload data import data and then we have everything here so we have let's start with this guy with this girl sorry let's open a google see so i already googled her um they're open now and this is her email so we can send her an email okay so i just recorded the quick videos i didn't want to take um it's all right it's not gonna be perfect i'm not the best speaker but as long as it gets the job done, we just need one of these to work. And one of these clients can generate you a lot of money. So let's see. Let's watch what I made. Hello, Tracy from Health Law or whoever else on the team is watching this right now. I'm contacting you guys because I am an AI specialist. And I am making chatbots for a lot of different law firms right now. Um, with automation or whatever else you want it to do. So you could have a chatbot in the bottom right that can answer people that come on the website they can talk to an ai that knows everything about your website we can train it on how you like um it can ask law specific law related questions um, and collect user information and then forward it to your team so you guys can contact them back if the lead is good and you guys can also get a chat bot for streamlining your operations so i'm sure you guys use ChatGPT currently when that's only one layer of AI usage that you guys are currently using um, because you can make customized tailored and trained chatbots that can help you generate contracts quicker because it's been fed templates and understands how these contracts are supposed to be written um, chat GPT will have a lot of errors and mistakes we can create a more streamlined and accurate model because we're going to train it specifically for the that task you need to do that's one another avenue so we have the customer support avenue in the bottom right or lead capturing and then we have something that can help you generate contracts and stuff and then another approach would be actually automating internal um, processes like data entry and other tasks that are very labor intensive um, and that will allow you to have employees focus on other tasks while the ai does the more you need labor intensive ones that can be automated. This can help you increase your ROI by quite a lot. So if you guys are interested, there's going to be a link you guys can click on and we can schedule a call and we can talk further about what solution works for you. Okay, I'm just going to remove the red AI part. So I don't know why I said that. First of all, we're doing it for automate GPT, not red AI. So I'm just going to go to edit. Um, let me make my face bigger here. So we're going to go trim and slice or add clips. And then we're just going to delete to the last part. Okay, so let's go save that. We're going to remove filler words and we're going to remove silences. Um, transcript is still updating, so we can't remove the silences right now. 
um, and then I want it to add a link. So when I get the Calendly link, that's on automate gbt dot framer, and then this will allow them to put a call button link as the URL have a Calendly link, and then I'll say book a call. We could leave it this color. We could make it a blue. That's nice. And yeah, we're good. So we can make it slightly rounded. This room sound says transfer is updating, so it's fine. It's, it's a matter. So we're just going to share this now. Um, we can share it on Gmail, but we're not using Gmail. We're using Outlook. I'm going to copy this link. And then we're going to go to Outlook. Law firm. Right. Okay, so that's good. And then we'll say, please watch this video where I explain what I can offer you that's good and then let's say regards automate GBT and then book a call link we can have that as well book a call book a free call I was browsing your website and saw that you may be interested in adding AI technology to increase your ROI. Technology and browsing your website is not good. Browsing your law firm website. Okay, so I'm just gonna send it like that. It's fine. We still have, so this is done. So we have around 160 more to go. So I'm gonna do all of these. Um, I'm gonna do exactly what I did right now, but I'm gonna do it for every single one now. And then hopefully by tomorrow or Monday, we get a response back, or at least some, even if we don't get any leads, we just wanna see what people are thinking and then go from there. Um, if this niche doesn't work, we'll transition to another niche. I think this could work though. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that and